Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Eddie here and welcome back to the experience and guys I hope you all had a wonderful New Year's Eve and I hope you all been enjoying your week But guys, it's time to get right into this week's video, man So what we have right here is none other than the Soulfly and Nike Air Jordan 1 low collaboration And to me guys, this is a very dope shoe and by the materials and the quality of the shoe I definitely think it's gonna be durable similar to the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 low So now let's look into the box details because I really think this is dope and I really like the fact that Nike has been going the extra mile with their packaging. I believe this started with the Amama Nair Jordan 3s last year with this plastic sleeve. Now when looking at the plastic sleeve, it's pretty simple compared to the other one that I mentioned. It's just a Soulfly logo right there, which is really clean in my opinion. However, I do believe that they could have done more with the sleeve, but you know, it's still clean. So let's just take this sleeve off now. And then we get the box. So my box is pretty not damaged. There's just a little scrape right here, but it's all good. Now when looking at the top of the lid, as you can see, we have an all red lid. However, the Nike logo itself is in this light brown colorway and then when we look at the rest of the box we have an all black box with that kind of light brown colorway on it next we go on to this side the same thing pretty much follows suit however we do have some carnivore details on the bottom which i will get into later and then finally when we go into this side those same details follow suit however we have the sticker tag which i'll leave there for a second so now when going on to the sticker details it says air jordan one retro low ogsp and the colorway shown is black sport red and desert and of course my true to size in jordan one is a size eight and the suggested retail sticker is not here however the retail for it is 150 dollars now let's open this lid and get right into the sneaker details guys now we have this carnivore wax tissue paper and like i said before i will explain that later in the video next we have the regular wax tissue paper and then finally we have these babies right here man and i have to say man a lot of people are sleeping on this shoe. I think it's really clean, and I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of the Air Jordan 1 lows. However, if it's executed right with the colorway and design, I think it's a very beautiful model, man. So this doesn't really remind me of the Travis Scott 1 lows. However, the vibe is there. It's a pretty clean shoe, and there's some wacky details here and there, and I definitely believe that these are gonna be a super durable shoe based on the quality of the materials, just like the Travis Scott 1 lows. But before we get into those details, let's start off with the history of the shoe, all right? All right, y'all, so getting right into the history of the shoe, as you guys should know, Soulfly is actually a Miami-based retailer, and what's really interesting about the relationship between Jordan brand and Soulfly is the fact that the owner is actually Michael Jordan's brother-in-law. So they have a very tight-knit relationship and it's pretty dope that they actually came across this because they're keeping it within the family and they have some pretty fire collaborations. So obviously they have this collaboration and two years ago they had the Jordan 10 collaboration and I think two years before that they had the Jordan 1 collaboration, which was one of the most hype and to me, one of the most fire Soulfly collabs because it was two Jordan 1s, there was a friends and family version, and then the orange GR, well, it's not really a GR, but the one that was available to the public. And to me, the orange one was way better, so the people actually got the better pair. And then I believe they had the 17s, and I'm not sure if the 3s came out. So they have a long history of pretty dope collaborations with the Jordan brand, so that's pretty dope. And then more history about this shoe is that it's actually inspired by a dunk as well as the Nike Air Carnivore. And that's exactly why I said that earlier in the video. So as you guys can see this detail right here, as well as this detail in the back, those details were actually inspired by an old 1993 Nike Air model called the Nike Air Carnivore. And it's a pretty dope shoe in my opinion. Definitely should be left in the 90s, but for its time, it was definitely a dope shoe. And then with the Nike SB Dunk model, when you actually compare these two, they are heavily inspired from the midsole to the outsole, as well as the new buck and suede detailing. So I'm gonna post a picture of the SBs right here, and you guys are gonna see the clear comparison from the details of the red suede and the black new buck. And they're actually pretty similar. So other than that, child, that's gonna conclude the history of the shoe. So let's get right into the details. So now when looking at the details of the shoe, it's pretty simple, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a very simple shoe. And have a lot of clean aspects to it so now first when looking at the toe box we have a fully suede red toe box and then when we look at the mud guard of the shoe we have that carnivore detail on the mud guard next when we go onto the top of the shoe now we have some black laces and then we have a black nylon tongue and finally at the top we have a red and white nike tongue tab now when looking at the lateral side you can see that it's completely blacked out so the eyelets are blacked out the nike check is blacked out as well as the quarter panel and the ankle area is all blacked out so it gives it this stealth vibe which is really dope and you can't really see the check unless you're in bright lighting like this and still it's a little bit hard to see at least on my end next we go onto the back heel area now we have some more of those carnivore details but instead of it being just the black and the light brown it's completely light brown and then finally when looking at the heel tab we have this wings logo which is standard to most jordan one lows which is pretty dope
dope. And then finally, guys, this detail actually really shocked me. When we looked at the blacked out medial side, guess what we have right here? Instead of having an all black Nike check, we kind of have that chunky donkey horse hair on the Nike check, which is really dope in my opinion, guys. And that's pretty much all the details on the right side of the shoe. Then on the left side of the shoe, we actually have some more details. So on this shoe, we have some extra laces. So instead of just having all black laces, we also have that kind of varsity red or sport red laces. Then we have this kind of light brown or wheat lace. And then finally, we have that carnivore colorway. If you guys know what this colorway is called, please let me know, but I'm gonna continue to call it carnivore. It looks exactly like the carnivore details on that 1993 shoe. And then finally, which is the only difference between the left and the right shoe, is the fact that we have that Soulfly logo on the heel tab, which again, super fire, man. And also guys, I forgot to mention that there's also this custom insole inside the shoe, which is pretty dope. And I think it's of like this cork material. I'm not sure. Yeah, it kind of feels like it's cork. So it has that carnivore colorway. However, the brown parts is actually cork, which is pretty dope. And then when we look at this, we have the Jordan label right there, as well as the size tag. I'm telling you guys, I hope this video is gonna persuade y'all to like this shoe because I know a lot of people slept on it. But personally for me, I definitely feel like this is a super clean shoe, guys. I'm not gonna lie, like I really like it, man. And I'm excited to show y'all this awful look. So now let's get right into that, all right? hope that you guys enjoyed this review man i really think again this is a very slept on shoe i'm not trying to drive the resale prices up or anything but since the prices for it is around like 220 at least in my size i think this is a definite cop if you've been holding out and trying to see a reason to buy it i think it's going to be a really durable shoe like my travis scott's i've had for about two years now and the materials to me at least are pretty similar other than the light and brown khaki areas. I think they're pretty much the same quality wise. To me, I think this is gonna be a very durable shoe that stands the test of time. As I mentioned before, those Travis Scott's, I've been wearing them nonstop now for what? three, four years now. They came out in 2019 and it's 2022 now. So this is gonna be the third year that I've been wearing that Travis Scott low nonstop and I still have another pair on ice. And I'm telling you guys, if I just clean off the little dirt marks or whatever, they look just as good as new and they're super comfortable. They were already comfortable when I first got them. But when you break in these Jordan 1 lows, I don't know, they just like, they just stick to your feet. They're just super fire. But anyways, guys, that's gonna conclude the overall review as well as the awful look and other than that. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to share with your friends and your family. Make sure to smash that like button. And if you see anything that you like throughout the video, or if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell. And other than that, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.